Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Today I have Star Wars The Vintage Collection. The one and only Vintage Collection. I am pro Vintage Collection. Uh, Admiral Akbar. Um, saw this guy just sitting there at Walmart all by himself. Never owned an Admiral Akbar figure. Except for maybe uh, the Power of the Force series way back in the early 90s. Uh, so I just had to get it because I love Admiral Akbar. Uh, especially from his famous lines, It's a trap and uh, uh, our, <laughs> our cruisers can't repel firepower of that magnitude. Uh, you know, Return of the Jedi is my favorite Star Wars movie. And I need to stop like ashamedly admitting that admitting that it's my favorite uh there's just so many cool parts in it there luke is at his best uh we have the introduction of admiral akbar of course uh the emperor uh in his full glory and evil uh just uh lando flying the millennium falcon and you know admiral akbar is a part of that because he leads the attack on the second death star uh, which I didn't realize was way bigger than the first Death Star until I saw a vehicle comparison, uh, which I thought was really interesting. I didn't realize that the second Death Star was bigger. I just thought it was, uh, they were remaking it and it was incomplete, but you should check that out if you're interested. But uh, anyhow, Return of the Jedi, my favorite Star Wars movie of all time. Even though people want to hate on the Ewoks, whatever. Yeah, it would have been better if they were Wookiees. But, um, you know, the Ewoks were cool, too. I enjoyed the Ewoks. Uh, it didn't make sense that they were able to take down the uh, Stormtroopers. But, uh, you know, when you're a kid, who cares? Anyhow, my favorite Star Wars movie, Admiral Ackbar is in it. And he is the man. And everybody loves the way that he looks. Everybody loves the way that he speaks. And uh, he's just an awesome figure. Saw this at Walmart. Had to get it. So let's bust this open. As you can see, nobody wanted it because the card was all beat up. But guess what? I don't care about the cards. I take my figures out of the package because I like to display them and I like to play with them. But, you know, that's just me. Some people really, really love the cards and that's fine. So that's the back of the card uh, in this series. Uh, there's Luke from Hoth, uh, you get Admiral Akbar Han Solo from Endor, which is also from Return of the Jedi, uh, Boba Fett, which is an amazing figure, probably one of the best Boba Fett figures ever made, there's Princess Leia from Bespin, Grief Karga from the Mandalorian, the Emperor's, uh, Emperor's Royal Guard, and the Child. So this is VC-22, as you can see, Vintage Collection 22 of this series. And that's a nice picture. I, I wish he would have come with his chair, actually, um, instead of his little commander clipboard, uh, his sci-fi clipboard, which is pretty much what that is. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I wish he would have came in his chair. That would have been cool. I really hope that the Vintage Collection steps up on dioramas. Uh, you know, they're, they're paying so much attention to the 6-inch Black Series, and I don't know why. Because well, collectors love the Vintage Collection. That's what it's always been. Um, 3.75 scale figures uh, since its inception. And they just started, like, over the past 5 to 10 years, rejecting that scale of figures and really focusing on... The six inch figures and I know that like they want to make money I get it it's a business everybody's trying to make money but guess what Hasbro people are gonna buy the 3.75 figures I think they're clamoring for them uh, they just released the uh, Amazon four pack pre-order of the Bad Batch which isn't even the Bad Batch by the way uh, and it sold out immediately. I couldn't even get it because it sold out that fast. And now if I want it, which I don't know if I want to pay, uh, the exorbitant prices from the scalpers on eBay, it's just like, that just shows that people want these figures. Uh, so I don't know. They need to make more dioramas. Uh, you know, Admiral Akbar on his ship. Where is the Emperor's throne room? Come on, let's get that. Um, just, you know... Step it up, guys. Vintage Collection needs love more than uh, the Black Series, in my opinion. 
So let's let's bust this guy open. Uh, that's a good picture, by the way. I like it. I, the only problem with all these card carded pictures is they don't look HD. And maybe that's just like, you know, because they're taking them from still shots uh, from the movie. Whatever, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. This figure already looks awesome. He just looks wonderful. Wow. I And, and they really, you know, of the vintage collection figures that they have been slowly producing... Uh, in in this new line with the photorealistic technology, uh, it's such a small scale. I mean, they look amazing. And what a time to finally have the vintage collection figures. And oh, that just looks great. Look at his fishy, lifeless, dead eye. <laughs> That's a trap. <laughs> Gonna steal your soul with my dead fish eye. He just looks great. He's a Mon Calamari species, uh, sort of, he looks sort of like a, uh, a squid or an octopus of some sort, at least his head does, uh, but he's an underwater creature, uh, alien in the Star Wars universe, whatever you want to call him, um, just, uh, yeah, <laughs> but he's very elegant and regal with his British accent, uh, maybe it's a Scottish accent, actually. And uh, just there is his credentials for the Rebel Alliance, his uh, medals and whatnot. The articulation looks fantastic too. Uh, just look at it, look at the attention to detail there. That nice gold stripe down his pants, uh, the creamy looking color of his uniform, uh, the varying shades of of cream and tan and white. Just looks wonderful. Uh, his big fishy forearms. Just awesome. Uh, so let's, uh, here's the bottom of the feet. They even painted those gray. Just looks great. Um, articulation, man. He has a nicely articulated head. So if you don't have Admiral Akbar and he's on a nice little ball joint there, so you can pop that off, you you probably like swap heads if you wanted to have a different uh, commander and have that uniform, except for the big fishy forearms. Uh, Nice articulation in the elbows, as you can see. Really nice bend there, as you can see that. Uh, there's a cut in the elbow, 360 degrees. Very nice shoulder articulation. Uh, it's it's sculpted very nicely too, so it doesn't look ugly. Um, let's see what else. Torso. He's just on a just on a swivel there. I don't think there's uh no, there's no ball joint in there. That's okay. It's just Admiral Akmar. He's not very uh, action-oriented. He's just nice to have um, as the Rebel Alliance commanders. Uh, I don't have a Mon Mothma figure either. I should I, I need to pick up a Mon Mothma. Um, he has no uh, ball joints or V joints or, or T joints, whatever they have in the hips now. It's just your old standard up and down. Uh, leg kick. Um, very minimal in the knees too, but that's not too bad. That's a pretty nice bend for some posing. Uh, also as a knee cut, so we have 360 degrees in the knee as well. And is there no ankle articulation? It looks like his pants are sculpted to his feet. So just a really great figure. Uh, Looks beautiful. If you don't have an Admiral Akbar, like I didn't, you know, pick this guy up. I got him at Walmart. Uh, that's his little uh, clipboard or whatever it is. Um, some sort of a communicator or computer, I, I think it is. Uh, nerds out there, correct me. I don't remember what it's called. But he has that. And let's see if he can hold... I don't know if he can really, I don't know if that's supposed to be a handle, but he can, he can hold it in his hand like that. And then, uh, I believe this thing is like a port key for electronics. Uh, R2 has one, any droid has one, uh, the new Echo on Bad Batch, uh, animated cartoon has one. 
So, or a, a stylus or a pointer of some sort. I, I, it's not a weapon. Pretty sure it's a computer terminal key of some sort. That's a nice little feature as well. Very Star Wars-esque. Let's get a look at that face one more time. Just beautiful. Look at that level of detail. The paint looks fantastic. Just keeps getting better and better. So we can only hope and pray that uh, Hasbro will hear our wishes and, and uh, utterances and produce more awesome uh, vintage collection figures. Um, just for a comparison, uh, here he is with the new excellent Boba Fett. Um, just wonderful. Bring him a little bit closer. This guy just deserves to be on camera so much. He just looks good. And uh, very excited, too, because uh, they recently wrapped shooting uh, The Book of Boba Fett, Season 1. Um, so we can look forward to that coming uh, in the near future. But great figure. Uh, if, you, if you like uh, my videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll continue to make them. I'll just do it anyhow because I enjoy it. And uh, God bless you all. Thank you.